Yeah, yesterday I was locked in uh, in a room, and um, I was stuck. Somebody just locked me out or something. I don't know. And then um, just during the day, somebody opened uh, opened the door for me, and then all of a sudden. So, I mean, and then I went to go get a couple things out of the room again, and also, I guess what, somebody unlocked the door, but they locked it again, and then so when I went in the do do went in the room, the door just shut. So as the door shut, I was locked in again the whole entire day. So what's your name? Josh, what's oh, yours? Oh, my name is Wesley. Nice to meet you, Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. Uh, <clears throat> hey, do you mind if I sit here? No, sit down. Oh, man. thank you. Uh, so, where are you from, Josh? I'm from Joliet, Illinois. Oh, actually. seriously? Yeah. How about you? Oh, same place, same place. What what area? Uh, I don't know. Outskirts of Joliet, I guess. Unincorporated. Oh, so. just sitting here? Yeah, just uh, relaxing, chilling, enjoying the weather. Yeah. I want to share something to you. Right here, what it is is that um, the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. You probably heard you heard of Jesus Christ, right? Well, yeah. Okay, Everyone you heard has. of the um, the birth of the Virgin Birth, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And stuff. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. God God sent uh, um, a child to um, God talked to Mary and told Mary that she was going to have a child, mm -hmm. and um, of course a baby was born, and this baby here grew, um, grew and he was going to be a sinless person throughout his whole life. I mean, do you know what sin is? I don't know, I guess. I guess so. I guess so? Oh, <laughs> uh, um... I, see, mean, I guess doing is... bad things, killing, and stuff like well, that. Where sin is... What leads us to... To, hmm. um... You ever heard? Um, hell. And I know it sounds like a tragic place. But, there we can get escape from that place. And so he had a sacrifice on the cross. And he died for our sins. He was beaten, he was hung on a cross, and then he died. But, to prove that he's God, he risen the third day. Now you can accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Know that hmm. if Jesus Christ is Lord, if you believe that Jesus Christ is your Savior, and believe that he's the only way to get to heaven, and he's the only way to take away your sins, and that he's the only God, then you would be saved. The tra track will help you explain. It gives you some verses. It talks about, if you, if you read in Romans, um, says that the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23. We all sin, and we come short of that, come short of the glory of God. I mean, here's God right here, and here's us. Because when we sin, there's a big um, valley down there. You're on top of the mountain, you have, you're, and God's on top of the other mountain. You can't I think it went really well uh, after having that conversation with um, Josh. Um, I should have approached him a little bit more differently than I than I should have, but nevertheless, it seems like he was very very open to the gospel. He listened. Um, he wasn't, um, he didn't deny anything, he didn't reject it, he, uh, he did accept the, um, the track, he did, um, pay attention to what, what, you know, what I have had to say about, um, the relationship, um, with salvation, about the gospel, and I think he's very interested, it's hopefully that, you know, only God knows that, uh, we just continue on praying for Josh, that he'll be able to, um, come to know, and one day, I just planted a seed, you know, for Josh here, and one day that he will come to know Christ, and, and see what happens, and see how that seed will, will grow, and see if he will one day come to know Christ. It's just through prayer that you'll be able to accept him. You can't get to heaven by religion, you can't get to heaven by being good, you can't be again, you can't get to heaven by uh, helping others, stuff like that. You can't, you can't just think you're a good person and say, okay, I'm going to get to heaven. <clears throat> I just wanted to share that with you, and what the Bible has to say, and um, you have to believe through faith, faith alone, that Jesus Christ is the one yeah, who okay. anybody, so. Okay, well, man, what was your name? It was uh, Wesley. What's your Wesley? name again? Josh. Josh, it was nice to talk to you. Hey, yeah. nice to talk to you, man. So. Okay, you take it easy. Okay, All you right? too. Okay. Bye. See ya. No, I like... Like I said, you could just, like, yell out one word during the course. You could all but not like... Not like... This is about Jesus. You know about Jesus? Yeah. He can be your friend. Charlie Manson is my Jesus. He didn't die for you. He didn't save you. You don't know Jesus. You're going to go to hell. Oh. You don't want to go to hell, do you? It's a bad place. She's not going to hell. I'm not going to hell.
We're happy. Jesus gave us joy. So we're all in the community together. When someone dies, it's not like they really died. So it doesn't matter. But do you believe that about death? There is no death. It's an all a dream. But there is a death. Your body decays, but your soul does not. Death is just a dream. There is no heaven. <laughs> The Holy Spirit was here to you. It is your choice to reflect like Christ. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. What, did you get your quota? No, I haven't found anyone to witness to yet. Oh. Well, what the heck over there? Go flirt with them. You're good at that. I'm out of here. I already met someone. Okay. Bye. See ya. Hey. Your name? I'm Steve. I'm Becky. How are you? Good. That's good. So, lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, what are you doing on Wednesday night? Uh, nothing. Oh, really? Well, at about 6 o'clock, do you want to go to this meeting thing with me? Sure. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, um, we're going to talk about this guy that's really cool. I think he'd like to get to know him. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Wednesday at 6 o'clock? Sure. Yeah. All right. Do you want to just meet here and over there from here? That'd be great. All right. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Welcome to the ending of our reality show. And in just a moment, it's going to be time to find out what your final answer to the big question is. How's it? Uh, how are you guys feeling after your uh, excursion today? Pretty confident. Feel like you've got a good grasp on the uh, the exercise? Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Did you guys have a good time? Mm -hmm. Jeff, you look a little worn out there. I was in the sun most of the day after all. Yeah? Yeah. You guys cover a lot of ground, Wes? Yep. Yeah? Stay hopping, huh? I, I don't know, me, I, I kind of stayed in the same general area the whole time, but a lot of people, I saw, saw a lot of people. A lot of people. All right. Well, from what I'm gathering and some of the uh, talk I'm hearing, you guys learned a lot of lessons, a lot of things you can take from this. However, to win this game, you've got to have the right answer to one question. And so I want you to prepare right now to answer that final question. And the question is, I'll give you a few seconds to write your answer and then you'll be handing it in. What is the ultimate purpose of this exercise besides the obviousness of witnessing. What was the point of this game? Make sure your names are on it, and when you are done with your answer, put your pen down. All right, I will come around and collect them. I will uh, read each person's answer, and uh, after I've read all the answers, I will reveal who is the winner. First, Amanda, you said that the whole purpose of this exercise is to make sure that people have their heads on straight. Jeff, you said that exercise makes you a lot more healthy than just sitting around. Becky, your answer was, in addition to soul winning, it is to pick up guys. Well, Opie said, in addition to soul winning, it was to pick up chicks. Oh, yeah. I got the right word in there. Chicks. And Wes's answer was, there are a multitude of ways to reach people with the gospel. The key is that you're fundamentally sound. And the winner is, with the answer of, Fundamentally sound, but using a variety of ways to reach people with the gospel of Christ. Wes, 
Converse. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Wes. You are the winner. This is great. The, I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> you know what? I'm just leaving. Totally rigged. All right. Here. Yesterday I was locked in. Yesterday I was locked in. Ready? Just go ahead when you're ready. Whatever. Yesterday I was locked in. Pause. Rewind. <laughs> right.